Today I'll be talking about how to solve an AMC 12 problem from the 2015 AMC 12A. But before we do that, let's talk about logarithms so we have a basic understanding of how to solve this problem. I love logarithms and they're one of my favorite parts of math because they're just, they're really beautiful. But I know they can be really confusing. So let's go over some basic properties. Logarithms are basically just exponents. If we have log base a of b equals x, that just translates to a to the x power equals b. So we see here x is the exponent, and we call a the base. That's just what a logarithm is. Now some basic properties. Logarithms don't exactly function like other things in math. So we have log of a plus log b. First off, you notice that we don't have a base here, so there is an implied base 10. When we add these together, we don't get log a plus b. We get log a times b. And when we subtract logs, you can probably guess we don't subtract, we divide. So we have log of a divided by b. And sometimes to make this more clear, you can put parentheses here so that you know that the a times b is all inside the log. Another important property of log logarithms is what happens to exponents inside the logarithm. So if I have log a raised to the b power, that's the same thing as log or b times log of a. We just move the exponent out and multiply it by the entire logarithm blog a. <laughs> so the other really important property of logarithm is the change of base formula. So if I have log base a b, it's just equal to log b over log a, and I can choose whichever base I want here, but here I'm just going to imply a base 10. And here that was just a really quick review, and I don't go in depth or try to prove these properties, but you'll notice that these properties are almost synonymous with what happens in exponents. If I have x to the a power times x to the b power, when I'm multiplying these two, I'm actually adding the exponents. And similarly, x to the a power divided by x to the b power, I am doing x to the a minus b. So that's just a little something if you want to see how exponents tie back to logarithms. So let's move on to AMC 12A 2015 problem number 14. What is the value of A for which 1 over log base 2 of A plus 1 over log base 3 of A plus 1 over log base 4 of A equals 1? Well, we see that we have five possible choices here. So if all else fails, we could try to plug in these choices and see if it equals 1. But that's not the best solution. We know that. So, these are fractions. We need like bases to act fractions, right? We ought to use one of the, uh, the properties of logarithms that we just went over. So if I have one of log base two of a, using the change of base formula, this is equal to one over log a over log two. And if you ever have trouble remembering say which log goes on top of the other. Just remember the bigger one goes over the smaller one. So let's just trans change all of these into um, change of base formula, or perform change of base formula on all of them. So like I said, I have one over log base a over log, or not log base a, just log a over log two, plus one over log a over log three, plus 1 over log a over log 4 equals 1. Now, when we divide a fraction, divide by a fraction, we are multiplying by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal for all of these would just be log 2 over log a plus log 3 over log a. Ooh, I see like bases. Log 4 over log a equals 1. So. This looks daunting, but remember, when we are adding fractions, um, we don't add what's going on in the denominator if it's the like base. 
So we have log 2 plus log 3 plus log 4 over log a. So it's just like a normal fraction, but don't add 2 plus 3 plus 4 and say that's log of 9. No, we are, we're going to keep it in log form. Now you'll notice here we need to employ yet another property of logarithms. When we add logarithms, we're multiplying what's inside. So we have log 2 times 3 times 4 over log a equals 1. Remember, adding is multiplying, which makes no sense, but it actually does because it's a logarithm. So now we have that is all equal to 1. So log of 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24. So log 24 over log a equals 1. So we see here that log 24 must be equal to log a. So a equals 24. And that is our answer. D, 24. So this was one of the problems off of AMC 12A from last year, number 14. And there are 25 problems on every AMC. So the next AMC is coming up on February 3rd. And I will post a few more videos about AMC problems before then. Best of luck.